Hmm. At which address did this customer live last month? If I only had historization in my data. Hey, very cool. Today I will show you exactly how to do this with MongoDB Atlas. So let's jump right in. Let's take first a quick look at our customer documents. So I have a collection. There is a customer inside which has a name and an address. So what's the first obvious part to do to initialize historization on such a document or such a collection? So the first obvious thing is, yeah, take a copy of your document before the change and copy it over to another collection. I call it here customer history. Important to notice is remove the ID during the copy so that MongoDB can create a unique new ID for your historization document. Next thing is that we add three fields in our main document. First, the revision to see how many changes were made to the document. Then we say a valid from, and then we copy the underscore ID in a field called origin ID. This will be important later so that we can always refer to the original document in the historized documents. Now let's make the change. I'll change the street here, for example. And then after the change, we also initialize the history document with the revision. And in addition, we set a time window with a valid from and valid until date. The valid from we didn't have from the initial document because it wasn't there. So I'll set there just uh, the minimum date available. And now you can see here this origin ID becomes important. So this history document will now point to the original document inside the customer's collection. Optionally, you can also add the update description to this history document. Now, what happens if a next version, a next update happens to the document? So again, copy the full document before change to the customer history collection. Remove the ID, don't forget that, to get a new unique ID. And then you will see already, we take now the revision valid from and origin ID from the original document because we enhanced that before. Now we make the change. And after the change, we just update the revision, increment it by one, set a new valid from date, and then set the valid until just one second before the change in the history document. Again, optional, add the update description to the document. Okay, let's see how we can automate this full process using MongoDB Atlas. I'm going to switch to the app services in Atlas and here just build or create a new app. Click next, give the thing a name. Here I call it document versioning, save it and create the app. Inside the app, go to the triggers menu and create a new trigger. We will create a database trigger, name that as well, customer history. Make sure that event ordering is enabled and then select your cluster, your database and your collection to historize. Also select the events which should lead to historization. These two toggles here are very important that you get the full document and the document before the change inside your change event. Now this change event will be passed to a function which we will create right here. Just give it a name, again, create customer history for example, and save it. Now switch to the functions and there you will see your newly created function and remove all the sample code here inside. And now I'll walk you through all necessary lines of code to create here a full automated document versioning pattern as I have shown you before. So first of all, you see we create here or we get here from the trigger already a change event passed to this function. 
But before we handle this change event, we just open up a pointer to our MongoDB Atlas instance using the context service, and we create a pointer to our My Customers database. After that, we create two pointers, one to the history collection and the other one to the main collection, which should be historized. Now we take out of the change event the necessary informations or sub documents we need. We take the document key, the full document, full document before change and the update description. All that is already out of the box provided by the change event from the trigger out of Atlas. Now comes the question, was there a history before or not. So is the document actually we are changing already in the historization or not? If not, we just create the three fields we don't get from the original document because they are not there. We just create them synthetically. So revision to zero, add the origin ID and create the minimum date for the valid from. Attach that to the full document before change. Now we delete, as shown before, the ID. I set the valid until value to the actual date and I add the optional update description. Now we are ready to update our main collection. So this is now the update to our collection we like to historize. So I set a valid from to the actual date. I set the origin ID and I increment the revision by one. If this is successful, then I write something to the log file so that Atlas app services can log what we are doing with our main document. And then we are ready to insert our full document before change enhanced with all the values we've seen above and write it down to our history collection. Returning true to end the function and that's it. As you can see with these simple 32 lines of code, you can convert this document versioning pattern easily and very reliable in MongoDB Atlas. From now on, corresponding history entries will always be created for all your changes in the customer's collection. A little warning about an infinite loop you create here. Because we change three fields in the original document, you remember? Revision, origin ID and valid from, the trigger fires again and this leads to an endless loop. To avoid this, go back to the trigger and click on the advanced tab. Then this menu here will pop open. Now you can insert a Mac expression for these three fields here that they must not exist in the update description. Only if these three fields do not exist in the update description, the function is now executed accordingly. Endless loop avoided. Time to try it out in MongoDB Compass. For example, I changed the profession here from network admin to lead developer and save this. And when you refresh now, you see that the trigger has done a great job here and did set the origin ID, revision and the valid from date in your original document. Now let's see how it looks like in the history collection. Here we go. There is the history version of my original document terminated properly with a valid from and valid to date and enhanced with a nice update description. That's about it. With these few simple steps, we were able to effectively implement with a trigger and a function in MongoDB Atlas, a document versioning pattern that works very reliable and transparently. I hope this video was valuable for you. If you liked the video, then give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll try to produce more content like this in the future. I'm definitely looking forward to the next time. See you then. Take care. Bye bye.